So I just did a video about Matter and lots of you were commenting saying, hey, what about Home Assistant? Home Assistant, what about Home Assistant? I hear you and there's a reason why I didn't include it. Home Assistant is a mess when it comes to Matter. No, that's an understatement. It's a disaster. Seriously, the documentation, all the stuff, it's so confusing. I mean, you were brave enough to click on this video, so I think you can handle it. Even in Home Assistant's documentation, they pretty much say, don't use this right now. Even if you can use it, you probably shouldn't. You know it's bad when Home Assistant documentation is saying, you probably shouldn't do this. So you've been warned. The way you add matter to Home Assistant, you need to update Home Assistant to the latest version. But once you do that, it still does not automatically add Matter to Home Assistant. You have to add that integration first. A little pop-up shows up, it's kind of confusing, but if you've never added Matter to Home Assistant before, just ignore it and click Submit. And now you can add Matter devices to Home Assistant. Well, that's if you can figure it out. So to add a Matter device in Home Assistant, the documentation says that you need an iOS or an Android app. And then it says go to settings and click on devices and services. So in the settings, click on devices and services, select the devices tab down below, and then click add device. And there you should see add matter device at the top. <laughs> As you can see, there is no add matter device at the top. And so when I first did this, I was like, I guess this doesn't work. I mean, Matter, you can't add anything to Home Assistant right now. But that's because I think these instructions for the documentation are written for the next version of Home Assistant. I'm on the February version, and I think this is for March. So you have to scroll down. When you do that, you can see that there's some extra documentation on how to actually add it. I told you this was kind of complicated. So you, in the integrations, you have to search Matter and then click Configure, and then you'll see a button that says Commission Device with Mobile App. If you select that, you can scan the QR code or you can set up without the QR code and just type in the pairing code. But yes, it does work. I was able to add a Wi-Fi Meros Smart Outlet that I showed in the previous video, and it works great. When it comes to sharing Matter devices with Home Assistant, Yes, you can add them with Apple, Google, or SmartThings, and then share that with that multi-admin feature and add them to Home Assistant. But I'm not really sure if you can share a device that's been added to Home Assistant first with those other systems. I don't really see anything here in the settings like I did in the other systems. Maybe it's something with the phone settings, or maybe it hasn't been added yet. I'm not quite sure. All right, if that wasn't bad enough, it gets even worse with Thread because you have multiple options and it makes it even more confusing. I warned you, I told you it was a disaster, but we're going on, it's fine. So with Thread, you have two main options. One, you can add your Thread devices to border routers like HomePod Minis with Apple's Home, and then you can import those Thread devices into Home Assistant. And it'll work just fine because everything's local, it will work great or you can connect Thread devices directly to Home Assistant using something like Home Assistant Yellow or Sky Connect, which has a built-in Thread border router. And you can connect this to your existing Raspberry Pi and connect Thread Matter devices that way. But you may not want to add this. And the reason for that is this will only make it so you have one Thread border router in your house. You might be able to add more later, I'm not really sure. But if you had multiple HomePod minis or Samsung SmartThings stations, you can spread out those border routers and make your thread mesh system even stronger because you have multiple border routers and your thread devices will connect to the nearest border router. But I am gonna show you how to set up a thread device using SkyConnect. No, I'm not a really big fan of the name. It sounds like Skynet. Hmm. So I'm adding the SkyConnect to my Home Assistant setup by attaching it to a USB extender. And they give you one of those in the box because you want to keep that USB stick as far away from your Raspberry Pi or Home Assistant Hub as possible so you don't have interference. And I've been using this one. It's a little bit longer and it gives extra power. I'm not really sure if that's needed, but it's been working great. So I'm going to keep using that one. So out of the box, you cannot add thread devices straight to SkyConnect without enabling it first. So you need to go to the settings, system, click on hardware, 
and then you'll see the Home Assistant Sky Connect, and you'll only see that if it's plugged into your Home Assistant Hub, like your Raspberry Pi. Click on Configure, and then check the box and click Submit, and this will enable Thread on your Sky Connect. All right, now that I added the Sky Connect, let's see if we can add this Eve Thread Matter device to Home Assistant. I don't know, I've never done it before, so I think we'll just go through the same process that uh, you add a normal matter device. So we're gonna click configure, commission device with mobile app, and then we're gonna scan it. Okay, there we go. It says it connected, so that's a good sign. Let's see if it works. All right, here we go. On, off. Hey, it's working. That went better than I thought. I was expecting a complete disaster, but maybe it's just a mild disaster with how confusing everything is right now. And obviously it's gonna get better. They're gonna make updates to Matter and Home Assistant. It should be a lot easier in the future. So I don't know if I would try that just yet right now, but if you've made it this far in the video, then you'll probably be fine. Good luck if you do, and thanks for watching.